Dillian White is getting knocked out again by Alexander Povetkin. Well, at least according to Olympian heavyweight, former cruiserweight Michael Hunter, he believes that history will repeat itself. And he shared the ring with Alexander Povetkin. And he talks about the upcoming fight. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Before I get started, make sure you guys click the link in the description to get TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that I've used for years, and it can help you too. I started my channel with zero subscribers like everybody else, and I've scaled up to over 200,000. Use TubeBuddy, click that link in the description to dig in. They have a lot of resources and tools that aren't baked into YouTube as a platform. So if you're in YouTube or into YouTube, doesn't matter the genre, get TubeBuddy. It'll definitely help level up your content. Now, Michael Hunter gave his thoughts on a particular rematch that he probably wants to fight the winner. He already fought Povetkin, and I thought he beat Povetkin, but... They said it was a draw, I think it was. And that was on the Joshua Ruiz rematch card in Saudi Arabia. And regarding a rematch, Dillian White has to put it all on the line, so to speak, versus Povetkin, who he was brutally knocked out by in a fight he was winning. This is what Michael Hunter had to say. Yeah, I think that is good that Dillian White got more time, you know. I think that's going to be the same outcome in the sense. I think we're going to see a good little fight for a little bit, but somebody's going to sleep, and I think the odds are leaning more towards Alexander Povetkin. That's just from my own perspective. So he was in the ring with Alexander Povetkin, and he thinks that it's going to be, you know how they say, revenge or repeat. He thinks it's going to be repeat as opposed to revenge. Dillian Hope or excuse me Dillian White better hope that Michael Hunter is wrong because the way Dillian White has talked and talked about Deontay Wilder and said he's lost the plot mate and Andy Ruiz and called Luis Ortiz old and said this and that called Joshua a scumbag I feel like he can't afford to lose and I made a video about this previously make sure you guys check on the channel I did it yesterday, so you guys got to stay in touch with the channel for the latest and greatest. But Dillian White also made a really weird statement. He says that even at his worst, he can beat Alexander Povetkin, which to me doesn't really make any sense because if you can beat Povetkin even on your worst day in the office, then how did you get knocked out brutally with a single one shot, one hitter quitter punch? You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you're saying, oh, I could beat this guy even even on my worst day that doesn't really make sense because if that was the case your worst day already came and he knocked you out you know so that whole statement from dillian white sounded a bit diluted but i do agree with michael hunter alexander povetkin testing positive for the rona actually benefited dillian white because they were actually scheduled to fight the same year a matter of months like 90 days from the first knockout so Anytime that someone is brutally knocked out in the fashion that Povetkin knocked out Dillian White, I think uh, the more time you have, the better to get your mind clear, to you know deal with the psychological ramifications, physical, things like that. So we'll see how it plays out. They're fighting in Gibraltar. I don't know if there's any drug testing. I haven't really heard anything about that. They're fighting in one another one of these Eddie Hearn specials where they're fighting in more of an obscure land or a place that is not known for boxing so who knows what the drug testing protocols are like and we'll see you know we'll see how it plays out i really don't know much about povetkin's training camp i haven't really seen much of dillian white's training camp or any promotion behind it to know you know who's coming into the fight with vigor and, and things like that but the fight's this saturday so i guess we'll find out revenge or repeat Michael Hunter believes that it'll be repeat. Let me know who you're picking this weekend. We might do a boxing ego watch party if the fans want it. Let me know in the comment section. All you got to do is put BWP. Use my link for TubeBuddy. Also get UFC this weekend. Heavyweight UFC fight Francis Ngannou versus Stipe Miocic. We working.
So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.